What's up everybody, this is Kevin from FirstStepFortune.com and today we are talking money orders. How to write a money order from MoneyGram. This is a money order that you usually get from Walmart. Um, I'll t tell you exactly how to fill this out and then send it on your way to whoever you're giving the money order to. And we'll also cover how to cash it if you are receiving a money order. So let's get right into it. Alright, so there's three main uh, places on this money order that you have to fill out if you are the one buying it. So, alright, so we'll first cover if you were writing this money order as the purchaser of this money order. So if you went to the store, if you went to Walmart and bought the money grant, the money order, and you were giving the money order to someone else, that's how we're going to fill it out for, or that's what we're going to review for the first part. So, there's three sections that you fill out. Here's the first, which is pay to the order of, and that is who you're gonna give the money order to. So let's say you're paying um, your new landlord your security deposit for your, your upcoming lease. You would put the landlord's name here or the property management company's uh, name of the company here. The next one is the purchaser. So here is where you sign your own signature as the buyer of the money order. The next one is address. You fill out your address that, um, God forbid something happened to this money order, uh, or if it didn't make it to its final destination, they would know who to send it back to. So this is why you put your address right here. And then before you give the money order away, you make sure you detach here, and this is the receipt of your money order for proof of purchase. So again, God forbid if anything happened to this, if it was lost in the mail or something like that, uh, you want this receipt here. So you want to detach that and then you could send this off. The next we'll cover if you are receiving the money order from someone else. So the buyer of the money order would have populated these three lines here and they would have filled this out. For you to cash this, you simply just treat it as a check. So you flip it over and you would endorse it right here like a back of a check and then take it to your local bank or credit union and deposit this money order into your account. Now some banks do allow you to deposit uh, money orders via mobile deposit. Very few do actually. Um, more do ex allow this via ATM and then pretty much all of them allow in the branch. So keep that in mind when you're trying to cash this thing. You might want to do a Google search to figure out which banks, if your bank or credit union allows um, mobile deposit or ATM deposit. So it's that simple. Um, if you are the buyer of the money order, remember to detach the receipt right here. Fold and rip this off and then keep this for your record. And then um, other than that, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want more videos related to personal finance, money, credit cards, things like that. Um, I'll be uploading a lot more videos on this topic, so check it out.